Okay, uh, it's cut down day. Vikings cut down day. Uh, we're not done yet. Uh, <laughs> they have, uh, well, I'm doing this uh, about uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. They got till three to make uh, make all the final moves, but I'm gonna knock this out now because there's just, there's plenty to talk about. Uh, the big one just happened, I don't know, like an hour ago or something. We cut Armand Watts, um, which I sure as hell didn't see happening. Um, and uh, we traded for Ross Blacklock, uh, defensive tat, another interior defensive uh, lineman from the Texans. I haven't ever heard of him before. <laughs> I wouldn't know him if he was walking by in this parking lot. Um, but Watts being cut, like I, I, I figured there was probably going to be one or two real surprise cuts. I certainly didn't think. I certainly would not have put Armand Watts on on the list. Um, I don't know who I would have put on the list, but it certainly wouldn't have been him. I thought he was pretty good. I thought he had one of these late round guys who'd kind of worked his, worked himself up over the years and, and was pretty good. Um, there's a, there's a cost thing. They're saving they're saving some money. I don't. I mean, there has been talk about Indama and Sue, and that's the same position. I don't know if that means that that they're still going to be in the mix for him. Or if, if they've got, if, you know, there's there's always like the, you know, you make you make a move, but there's also there's like the move after the move that you're kind of planning on, and so they might have something going for that. Um, but yeah, that's that's the stunner. So um, beyond that, it's I don't think there's been any like other real super surprising cuts. They cut Janarius Robinson, who I think most people thought was going to probably make. The 53 as as like uh, you know pass rushing depth. Um, they did cut Mond and Mannion, um, and now we won't know for a day or two, or a couple days probably. But uh, till to uh, to find out who is going to be on the practice squad. That's why every time you see these reports, the you know Vikings cut so and so, they're going to be a candidate for the practice squad. Yeah, we know everyone's a candidate for the practice squad. Um, so we'll see. Like. I know I would how I would do it is I would just say Sean Mannion, uh, best of luck to you in, in any of your future endeavors. Absolute disaster happens at the quarterback position. We'll call you midseason because he ain't going to be picked up by anybody. He'll be available. Kellen Mond. I still think there's something you can cultivate there with with just the raw talent. You're going you're gonna to get more of him, more out of him as a practice squad guy than than you will Mannion. You know, I'm. You know, maybe it. Maybe it's a long shot that Mon's going to ever improve into being anything. But Mannion's not. Mannion is. Mannion is what he is. Um. I would say the other. You know, most of the names are just the expected names. The, I would say the big headline, other than the Watts, the Watts deal, is just the. What a what a failure, the last Rick Spielman draft class is. And not all of it because like he, like. 2021 class, he drafted Darisaw, who I think is going to be the, the left tackle for years. You know, Bynum's good. Wang Wu's explosive and good. Amir Smith Marset can play. You know, it's not it's not like you got zero out of the draft class, but boy, that that uh, <laughs> that draft class is it's like two thirds of it is gone. Two thirds of a draft when two thirds of a draft class is gone before the start of the se their second season. You know, and again, some of these guys will end up on the practice squad, but you know, that that's really that's really bad. Of course, the everyone's talked about it. They talked about it last year cuz the third round picks, we've got almost nothing out of the third round picks. And of the four guys, the only one left is Patrick Jones, who is a backup and maybe he'll develop into into being something, but Mond gone, Chas Surratt gone. I mean, like, did he even like? Did he even see the field other than like special teams last year? I don't think he did. And uh, the real disappointment, like Wyatt Davis, I don't know. That that's just an inexplicable one to me. Like, because that was a guy who when we got him in the third round last year, it was like, oh my god, we got this guy in the third round. This guy could have been a first round pick and at a position of need, you know, guard, maybe maybe even could even maybe play center. And like, 
he was like inactive, I think, almost every game last year and never played and was buried on the depth chart this year. Obviously didn't do anything to change it. That's that's a real inexplicable one. Like you draft Mond, you know going in he's something of a project. Even Surratt was considered kind of a project because he was like a converted quarterback, I think. And you know, but yeah, why Davis like you thought I I thought I thought he was going to be the starting something last year, the start, certainly starting guard. I think most people did when we drafted him. I was like, oh my god, yeah, he took him in the third round, but he's gonna he's gonna start because look at him. He, he, he comes from a prestigious program, and he could have been a first rounder, and then it didn't happen. Um, so that that's a really inexplicable one to me. I don't know what happened there. Maybe he'll maybe he'll catch on somewhere. Maybe I mean maybe they'll keep him on the practice squad. Like again. You got 16 spots for the practice squad, um, but that that's a real stunner. That just from, from from draft night, you know, a couple years ago, getting that guy because there were people that going to that draft talking about drafting him in the first round, and then you know, just a just a real fall. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so like you hear the names of people being cut, so it's hard it's hard to think off the top of my head of people who then are that means they're making the roster. They should cut uh, Dan Chisina, which was a little bit of a surprise. Um, the bit up, uh, we might have an opening at receiver and a surprise cut that people are already hyping as say hey, getting to the Vikings. Tyler Johnson. I remember when I was doing draft videos two years ago, I was I was banging the drum to get to draft Tyler Johnson. We never did. Um, you know, he, he did okay with, with Tampa Bay. We need, we could use a receiver. We could use like a, a, a fifth receiver, maybe even a fourth receiver. I mean, I feel like someone's probably going to claim him because we don't have like top, top, uh, priority on the waiver claim. We're like, we're, we're kind of in the middle. Um, so someone will probably pick him up and we probably wouldn't get him and maybe we wouldn't even want him, but you know. And that's the thing. This, there's still going to be fluid fluidity with the, with the roster because you know even even once you set the 53, well then there's still guys you know maybe who co- become available after the fact and then you go get them. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I the the, the 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 big surprise is the Watts one. I mean, I hope that works out. I, like, granted, look, we had a horrible run defense the last couple years with Watts, <laughs> so. Maybe we just think that he's better than he is, but I don't know. I thought he, I thought he had worked his way up to being a, a pretty legitimate, a pretty legitimate player. But you know, it's a new coaching staff. These, the, they're this, this, this regime, this coaching staff, this GM. They're not married to these guys. They're. It's not like Spielman, where it's like, oh God, I, I, I'm the one who drafted this guy, and we de- we're the ones who developed him. We don't want to let him go. Well. There's maybe a little more cutthroat in uh, in this new regime, which is probably for the best. I hope it works out. You know, I know nothing of the guy we, we got from Houston, and maybe there will be maybe there's gonna, maybe there's more stuff to come. Um, there's obviously more cuts to come because as I'm doing this, they haven't fu- uh, finalized it, so maybe I'll have to do a follow up. Maybe they'll cut Kirk. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah. <laughs> Nothing, nothing, uh, they haven't heard anything on any of the running backs. That was another big one. I think they might have cut that Kobach guy. Um, but nothing, I haven't heard anything else on Madison. Haven't heard anything on Chandler. Um, you know, receivers haven't, you know, nothing. You know, it sounds like, you know, I haven't heard, uh, I haven't heard Naylor mentions mentioned yet. So it sounds like he might make the team pending other moves. So, yeah, that's uh, that's most of the first cut down day. This is, you know, an incomplete video, but a busy day. So, um, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully we, uh, hopefully we get Tyler Johnson. I would really like that. That would that would right a wrong from a couple years ago, I think. You know, and I think he could play because he. I mean, hell, he he didn't get a lot of action for Tampa Bay, but I think I think he even played in, the, in their Super Bowl. But. Uh, yeah, that was a surprise cut. I don't think there have been any more like big surprise cuts around the league, but uh, 
But, uh, yeah, I mean, we could have something else brewing with, with the Vikings because even, even if you wanted to trade for the, this guy from Houston, like, you always need depth up the middle, and uh, maybe, maybe they got something else in the works. So we will see.